Hi, this is James from World War II Jeep and Rifle. Today I'm going to go through the top 10 must-know items about the PRC-77 Vietnam era backpack radio. Number one, this backpack radio was introduced in 1968. The PRC-77 was an upgrade to the PRC-25. The PRC-25 had uh, all solid state circuitry except a vacuum tube in the final stage of the RF amplifier. The PRC-77 was an improvement on the PRC-25 because it used all transistors throughout. And uh, that helped in a couple of ways, but most importantly, battery life. Battery life on the PRC-77 was 24 to, to 60 hours, depending on how much transmission you did. The PRC-25 was about eight hours. Number two, the PRC-77 backpack weighs about 20 pounds. That's with a full set of batteries in the battery compartment and uh, antennas and other equipment on your, your uh, pack. That is uh, a big reduction, believe it or not, from the 35-pound uh, BC-1000. That man pack from World War II was... Uh, I, I think a big breakthrough, but the PRC-77 became uh, the mainstay of most military branches because it was such a lightweight communication piece of equipment. The PRC-77 output power, this is item number three, is about 1.5 to 2 watts. This provides about a 5 mile range if you're looking at line of sight separation. But uh, with normal terrain and coverage, you can get about a two mile range uh, for transmission. Number four, when you're using the PRC-77, this is uh, all over the technical manuals, do not change the channel while you are transmitting or keying the transmitter on the handset. If you do that, then you risk blowing some of the circ circuitry. Number five, Originally, these packs came with non-rechargeable batteries of various types. Um, they, uh, they can still be purchased today, but with, I don't know, 30 plus years of shelf life, I wouldn't trust them. So you can get now adapters for the battery compartment that use just normal D-cell batteries. They take 10 D-cell batteries <clears throat> and to function, you have to have between 12 and a half to 15 volts of supply to the to the radio equipment. So uh, look into the battery adapters. You can also get uh, some with a, um, a voltage regulator circuit inside that plug into a car adapter, a uh, cigarette lighter, <clears throat> and uh, you can power it straight off of your, your battery, your car battery. Number six. There are three different antenna options that uh, can be used with the PRC-77. Number one is the, uh, the three-foot bush whip antenna. This is basically made out of the same stuff that uh, tape measures are made out of, this, this uh, metallic uh, concave-shaped material. Uh, you can also get a 10-foot whip-away antenna for stationary operation. Or, finally, you can connect through a BNC coaxial port to a vehicle antenna. Number seven, there are 920 possible channel combinations in the uh, PRC-77, which operates between 30 megahertz and 75.95 megahertz. With 50 kilohertz spacing, between each channel, that's 920 possible channels. Number eight is there are other models of the PRC-77 officially called the PRC-1177 that have a, a 25 kilohertz spacing and usually with a, with a switch <clears throat> so that you can double the number of channels available. So you can get almost 2,000 channels with the with the modified PRC-77. If you are uh, working with, uh, with another uh, crew and you have a band plan, you may want to make sure which model your, your uh, group is using because the 25 kilohertz spacing 
uses different circuitry, and uh, depending on who your your maintenance or uh, go-to guy is for fixing and tuning the radios, a 25 kilohertz uh, based set may not be uh, may not be maintainable. Number nine. The uh, PRC77 has a squelch function. The squelch function runs off of a 150 kilohertz signal, and so uh, if you're if you're not using squelch, you just have uh, this rushing noise sound unless somebody is transmitting. Then you get uh, then you hear the voice, and then when nobody is transmitting, it's a rushing sound. The squelch operation, when both radios are, uh, are using the squelch, helps to cut the noise in between transmissions so that, uh, so that you don't always hear the rushing sound. Number 10, last one, the PRC-77 in various forms is still in use by militaries around the world. I'll name a few, the Austrian Army, the Brazilian Army, the Pakistani Army, the Bangladeshi Army, and the Philippine Army, they're all using still PRC-77 based communication equipment either as their main or as uh, some special operations uh, uh, communications devices. So this thing has been around since 1968. That makes it almost 50, 60 years of operation. So. Really amazing technology that uh, sure is built to last, weatherproof, certainly re reliable, and uh, continues to, uh, to be used around the world. Anyway, thanks for listening. I hope you uh, learned something today. Uh, check us out, subscribe, let us know how you like the video, and we'll keep, uh, keep bringing them to you. Thanks. Bye.